Welcome back, my friends. Continuing the Star Citizen Free Flight Week starting September 9th, you can fly a whole slew of really pop, well, not really popular, the most popular ships in the game for free. And uh, right now we're going to talk about the Anvil Carrick, which is, from what I can tell as a newer Star Citizen player, uh, one of the more popular ships. And let me just tell you something about this ship before we do the tour. This thing is huge and i guess it's kind of hard to always see scale i mean everything's kind of to scale but if you can see let me see if i can zoom in here i'm i'm in the middle seat there i don't know how well you can see it but i'm pretty much I think i'm zoomed in as much as i can oh maybe not let's see if we can see me there i am see me right there in the middle going a little bit nope that's as far as i can go so little old me in the middle huge I mean, just huge ship. The This bridge is two stories. Huge ship. Got lost trying to find the cockpit. Uh, hovering because I wanted to show the landing gear animation. Let's do that. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Let's go ahead and land her. Um, and I, I'm just going to say, and this isn't a complaint. It's just kind of my feedback. I've flown some of these bigger ships as part of the free fly event. And this one is, in my opinion, very difficult to fly. Very, very difficult. And so this is, uh, I think they call it an uh, exploration ship. It seems to be kind of multi-purpose, but definitely designed to have a crew um, and to be able to sustain on the ship in deep space. Uh, we don't necessarily have deep space right now in the game because, you know, we only have one system. Uh, but when you're traveling, you know, theoretically, I'm, I'm trying to find a better landing spot here, uh, through multiple systems, kind of like Star Trek or what have you, which this game will have multiple systems at one point, or at, at some point, um, this would be like the ship to do that. It's got everything it needs to sustain a crew, um, and it's big, and it has, you know, place to live, and, uh, oh... Is that going to be okay? Yep, that's going to be all right. All right, so, oh, low gravity planet. Okay. There we go. Landing complete. I think. All right. Let's go ahead and exit the pilot seat. Oh, first off, I guess we'll see the cockpit. Very nice cockpit. I mean, if you're flying this thing, you can really see everything. So, really nice cockpit. Very low profile as far as the panels. They're there. You can see what you need to see as far as the pips, um, the the shields, uh, pretty the power, what you need to see when you're flying around or being attacked or whatever. Um, very low profile, but you can see it. And just wide open cockpit. Beautiful. I love this cockpit, by the way. So we're going to exit the pilot seat. And there's two additional seats in this part of the bridge. Okay. So, seat there. If we can get it to proc. Or maybe we can't sit in this seat. I haven't tried to. Anyway, there's a seat there and a seat here. I don't know if there's anything else you can interact with. You can open this. There's a lot of stuff that you can interact with on these big ships that don't really do anything. Um, but it's still cool, though. It's still pretty cool. All right, so this is the bridge, obviously. Let's uh, do the tour here. I'm guessing you can open that, yeah. Uh, oh, some little, some sort of storage area. Cool. Uh, elevator. Actually, I think I need to call the elevator. Call elevator. Yep, there it is. Really sleek looking. Upper bridge, like I said, the bridge is two stories. Really, everything's really sleek looking in this ship. Um, when I first got the game, I was like, hey, I like the Avenger Titan. It doesn't have a lot of missiles, though. This is kind of what I want to do. People are like, get the Carrick. I looked online. Real life money. This thing's $1,000, $1,100. I think it's on sale right now. Um, but, you know, that's for a limited time, September 9th. I think it's $600 right now. But still, I never would spend that type of money on this game. Um, I feel like I've done my part as far as contributing money. Um, and so I will... I don't even know what this does. I'm guessing I need to turn something on here. Power on. 
Oh, you can fly from up here. I think, yeah, you can, wow. This is even cooler. This is even cooler. Okay, so this is super cool. I didn't even know that you could fly from up here. So apparently you can fly from this second bridge, which honestly, I would probably, mm, I don't know. The other one has more visibility, but this is really cool though. Didn't even know that. Very nice. All right. Little command hub here. Um, a lot of these seats, it doesn't look like we can get in. Uh-oh, don't get stuck. Uh-oh. I think I might be stuck. Nope, got out. Okay. A lot of these seats, I don't think we can get in. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Oh, that it's letting me in this seat. So maybe I just wasn't looking at the right spot for the other seat. So awesome. This game is super cool. A lot of awesomeness. Uh, don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do here. Looking for a pro... Okay, so that is a mining note over there. Hang on, when I get up, does it still show it? Maybe that's what that is for? I'm not sure. The mining node's gone, so maybe that's what that's for? Pretty cool, though. Um, let's go ahead and... No! I got back in! Why? Why me? Okay. Try again. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay, there we go. All right, let's stay on this floor. Or maybe I should go down a floor. I don't know. I don't want to get lost. But yeah, lots of escape pods, which is really cool. Um, some of the smaller ships, which I say smaller, they're smaller than this massive beast. They're still pretty big. They have escape pods on them, which are really nice. Really cool. Um, especially when they're trying to future-proof the game for... You know, the, what they envision the game to be once it's complete. Not sure what this is. Huh. This is like a... Not sure. Maybe it had a name on the room. Like a workstation? Yeah. Like an engineering room? Let's see. Uh, doesn't say. Okay. Anyway, continuing. Um, this looks to be part of the engine or something oh what is this oh this has got to be a turret seat probably a turret seat I'm not gonna get in it this has got to be like the engine room or something turret another turret seat wow oh dr no drone operator seat wait a minute I am gonna have to get in this I lied drone operator seat what in the hell I have got to give this baby a spin Okay, how do I, oh, here we go. Power on. Whoa. Okay, where's the drone? How do I send the drone out? I don't get it. Um, power off. I'm not seeing any procs or anything. Okay, so I don't know how to do this, obviously. Maybe someone can tell me how to do that before the event is up and I'll summon the ship again and, and check it out. But wow, what a cool ship so far. But let's continue. Not even, we haven't scratched the surface of this ship, surprisingly. It's huge. All right, we'll go left. I guess we'll always go left first. Let's try that. Continuing through the hallways. Um, I'm guessing that's like a recreation area or something. Um, where's the door to? Get in. Oh, here we go. Hangar bay. Oh. No, it's a hangar. So, wait. Like a flight hangar? Oh, my God. It's a flight hangar. You can store a ship in here. Like a fighter ship. Wow. Okay. Did not know that. Now I know. And knowing's half the battle. Uh, what's this? Okay, this is an elevator. To go... Okay, I don't want to use the elevator yet, though. What is this? Turret. This is a turret room. This is really cool, really reminiscent of a lot of um, sci-fi games. Super cool corridors. I mean, just... Wow, the design on this ship is very, very impressive. This is the... What is this? Is this the elevator? What is this? 
I, I don't I don't know what this is. No step. Something. Yo, is that a ship in there? What is that? No, no, that's like the Oh, that's like the um engine room. Okay, engineering, yep. Wow. Definitely a lot of lore here. Any game lore, of course. I mean, a lot of this stuff doesn't really matter, but I guess if you spend a thousand dollars on a ship, you expect it to have all this stuff. As far as the um, cosmetical things, cosmetical things. Upper engineering. Okay, so we're on the current. Maybe this. Okay, so this is upper engineering. Okay, lower engineering. Wow. Okay. Man, this game is really interesting. What is this? Uh, what am I? What am I looking at here? Is this the power plant? Is this? Is this the power plant? Yep. Got to be the power plant. Okay. <laughs> Let's just walk away. All right, we're down on the next floor, so. We'll go ahead and do the tour. Little airlock there, nice, nice. Fuel tank. Oh, this isn't the, this is the engine. This is the fuel tank. Oh, this isn't the second floor. So an airlock before the fuel tank. I can't even get in there. Alexa, stop. Wow. That is so awesome. Okay. Can't even get in there. So let's go back up. Uh, oh, wait. Where's my elevator? Oh, there it is. Wait, no. This is the... This isn't the elevator. This is... We... Oh! Hello! A ladder. Didn't even know that was there. Okay. Sweet. We're back up here. Let's take the elevator and go down to the next floor. Uh, wait. Did I... Yeah, this is the turret room. God, that's so awesome. So awesome. Wow. Okay, elevator time, call elevator. This ship is amazing. Okay, so as you can see, we have the cartography deck, the technical deck, the habitation deck, and the sub deck. Uh, I'm guessing we're on the... Oh, no, there's... I, I didn't realize there was an upper floor to this, so let's... Let's hit this real quick, and then we'll hit the habitation deck. Holy moly macaroni. That was really lame. But still, this is really... Okay, this is for EVA. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, that is awesome. You can go, like, out on the ship. That is super cool. We're in low gravity right now, so... Okay, that is awesome that you can go on this deck of the ship. <laughs> this ship is awesome. I've never watched a tour of this ship. I've seen a picture of it on the website, and that's it. So this is really a treat. Um, definitely summon this ship and do this. Escape pod. Okay, what is it going back? So that's... There's not too much to this deck. Um, this is kind of cool. Obviously, pretty sure it doesn't do anything, but it's just part of the flair of the game really cool though but as you can see a lot of space for whoa okay came full circle there a lot of space for um thing other you know things that you could use other than what the space is taking as in like you know this could be more space for cargo or more space for weapons or or whatever because of the role of the specific craft so in this case, you know, an expedition craft. It makes sense because this is all space to live in. Um, also, I am getting turned around here. Okay, elevator. I got turned around. Okay, let's go to the habitation deck. Which I believe is the biggest deck. And that's the one that has the main bridge um, as well. So habitation deck. It's going to go down two stories. Okay, there it goes. So, one, two, yep. Alright, let's check it out. This, so, up there, it was, like, kind of, like, war room style. 
um, industrial. Now it's like uh, futuristic kind of, I mean, it, it is called the habitation deck, but futuristic kind of, <laughs> uh, I, I guess, living area. <laughs> All right. Um, what is this, though? Medical. Oh, okay, the medical bay. <gasps> cool. Please tell me that this thing is going to spray me. No, it didn't spray me. I want to get sprayed like in the movies. Okay. Man. Really wanted to get sprayed. Okay. So this is the medical bay. Really futuristic looking. Really tech looking. Obviously medical beds to treat the crew. Um, like this is like an ICU. You, oh no. This is like the MRI area. Okay. X-ray. All that stuff. I was thinking it was ICU at first. But then I realized once I got in. It's like a scanning area. Very cool. Uh, okay, this is where they monitor, and then they also look look at things. Got an iPhone on there, it looks like. Um, wow, so cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, same thing over here. Oh, no, this is a supply room. Okay, very cool medical deck. This medical deck is, like, bigger than my current ship. <laughs> All right, let's look at the rooms real quick. Very sad that I don't get misted when I come through here. Um, okay, this way. I think. Nope, that's, we got turned around this way. Can't open this door. Okay, here we go. This is like a conference room. This isn't like a chow hall. This is like a meeting room. Okay. What is this? Okay, this is a recreation room. Pretty sweet. Toilet. Very nice. What is this? Closet? Oh, no, the toilets are... Oh, they have stalls. Wow. It just goes to show that this... You know, the purpose of this ship, it's really good. Really interesting. Cool. Okay. And then... What do we have here? Oh! Okay, so this is a sleeping area. Very nice. You even got your own personal closet space. Very cool. This ship is awesome. Shower area. Not as nice as the shower on the hammerhead in the uh, captain's... Uh, oh, that's floating. In the captain's um, lounge. But I wonder if there's a captain's room on this ship or not. Probably not. I'm guessing. Okay, continuing. Whoops. No, don't get stuck. Okay. Oh, no, this is the captain's... This is the captain's office. And then I'm assuming the captain's room. Okay. Wow, the captain's room is... Sucks. Yeah, the captain's room is pretty crappy. Um, especially compared to the hammerhead. The captain's room on the hammerhead is really nice. Okay, so that's the captain's room. Or the captain's dorm. This is the bridge. We already saw this. Very nice. Let's go back this way. So I think we got a... Wait, where's the mess hall, though? I don't think we saw a mess hall. What was in here? Medical. So there's no mess hall? Because that's the... Recreation. That's the meeting room. Or maybe... The, okay, I guess maybe this is the mess hall. Oh, it is the mess hall. Ha! <laughs> it looked like a conference room, but no, that's the mess hall. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Now down to the next floor, which is probably pretty small as well as the top floor, I'm assuming. Elevator. Call it. I keep looking at the door. Nope, gotta call it like that. Can't just do it like like we want to. Gotta call it legit. Okay. Slow elevator. Unless I missed it. I missed it, okay. Alright, so we went to the cartography deck, technical deck, habitation deck, now the sub deck. 
which I'm assuming is the storage area. Okay. What is this? This is a pot, I think. Turret. A lot of space to enter for a turret. Obviously, you know, they have the blueprint of the ship. Um, I believe there's several different uh, variations to this ship, but a lot of space to play around with. Okay, so there's the weapons locker. That makes sense. Uh, okay, and so this was what I saw earlier. So a lot of, a lot of cargo space, a lot of space for um, vehicles, just crazy, crazy amount of space in here. Cargo space, vehicle space, whatever. It's got a pilot's hangar up top. Um, here's an elevator. I'm assuming this is an elevator to get outside. And then this is another bay, and it has the front door. We can... There might be a, uh, actual, an actual switch for it. Yeah, here. Open door. This door is super awesome because it, like, opens... And then extends. It's also clipping into a rock there. Uh-oh. Might be the end of the video. We're flying away thanks to this door. All right. Let's close this. But, yeah, you can drive a vehicle out of here. I mean, I say a vehicle. Multiple vehicles out of here. It's huge. That's an elevator down. And so I think we covered it. This is an elevator to get to cargo. Let's just go down here real quick. And I believe we sh There should be a way to open these. Hang on, let me turn my flashlight on. Having trouble seeing a little bit. I thought you could open these side panels. Maybe not. Maybe I'm missing it. I mean, it looks like you could open them. You can't just look at it. Maybe it has to be controlled from up top? Hmm. Wouldn't make sense if you couldn't open them. Should be able to open them. I don't know how to do it, though. I'm looking at it and clicking. That's not doing anything. Uh... unit so I I mean I would assume you'd be able to open those I if you can I don't know how anyway um, yeah that's the the Carrick uh, very popular ship apparently I don't know how I, I don't I there can't be that many whales in this game who can afford this freaking thing um, I think it's 12 million in game which is a lot of quiche tie down man if there's a I mean it looks like it should be able to open but um, I don't know maybe not yeah oh maybe not yeah maybe I'm but there's a hydraulic there yeah maybe I just don't know what I'm doing anyway um, very cool Anvil Carrick check it out free flight week uh, very excited to do more of these. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and until next time.